Okay, you guys got questions? Coach, what have you seen from the defensive line so far off this game? I think we have some athletic guys that can rush the passer. I think we have guys that have learned to compete. I think we have guys who uh, are learning, and I think they're going out there and they're trying to apply techniques that we're trying to get done. And, you know, there's been some positives and there's been some negatives, and we just got to keep on developing. Who's standing out in the interior right now? I know Shane Coates is there, but anyone else? Shane's done a good job. Leonard, Leonard Payne's done an excellent job. Uh, D-Mac's done a good job. I'm really impressed with 53. Um, there's some guys who, that really have done a good job. In the spring, you were talking about maybe some of your displeasure with some of the personnel you had as far as their weight and their conditioning. Where do you feel everybody's at right now? I think right now we're starting to get in good conditioning, and I think right now they gotten a lot of the players have gotten a lot stronger. And uh, I'm happy with them right now with their strength. I'm happy where they're at in conditioning. And now it's the consistency of play, fitting your hands, getting off blocks, and making plays. How much have you leaned on Shane just from a leadership standpoint? In your I've group? leaned on him a lot. Uh, you know, he comes out to work every single day. He's a true pro. Uh, and he, he's, a, he's a grown, he's grown up and become a leader. And I, I'm extremely happy with him. Is Shane similar to any player you've coached on D-line before? You know, he kind of reminds me, you know, a little bit of Mario Edwards when I was in Florida State. Strong, explosive, quick. Um, you know, uh, and of course, Mario went into the National Football League and got drafted by the Raiders. So, you know, I think if Shane keeps on producing, he studies the game every night. I mean, it's important to him. So I'm happy with him. What about Bishop and Amari McNeil? How have they been coming along this this? You know, program? Bishop it brings us uh, does a lot of good things. Amari's gotten better. I got to work on getting him to keep his pads down. Uh, I think all of them understand that playing low and being explosive gives you a chance. If you play high and you get lazy, then you kind of get knocked around. Is Amari a guy you feel like you guys are going to lean on in stopping the run early in the year? I'm going to lean on everybody that plays up front. I mean, that's not one person's going to do it. It's a collective group stopping the run. Everybody's got to be in the right gap, fit their right hands, and do what needs to get done. Coach, what happened with Chance Man that he didn't work out here? Um, he just decided he didn't want to play football anymore. So, you know, I can't help that. And if he doesn't want to play, I don't want to play. d Max, one of those guys that's been working both with you and Coach uh, Williams on, on the edge. What, what about his versatility do you guys like? I like the idea of his quickness and his speed off the edge. I think like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like him, I, yeah, I like to move him around. Because when you have somebody that's like that moving around, you can bring him out in different spots. It's dangerous. It's hard for the offense to know where he's at. Is his pass rushing ability something you guys could really use in like those third and long situations where you might be able to slide him inside and things like that? Absolutely. At this stage, do you feel like you guys have a comfortable rotation of pass rushers Absolutely. that you've settled into? Absolutely. We, you may talk about Bishop's ability, but um, his personality seems like he's brought somebody in the room. Is that something um, you've kind of seen rub off on people or just his personality in general? What do you know, when Bishop goes out there and he's ready to play football and he wants to do that, he can be as good as he can get. Any concerns about the depth on the interior? No. What have you seen from the rest of the defense? You know, I just think like anything, it's like to see us improving as a defense, you know, prime. Coach Prime wants us running for the ball. Our kids have got a better understanding of that, of what it takes to get to the ball. You've got to strain, you've got to be relentless, and you've got to go where the ball is. If you had to define strengths for the defense as a whole? I think, I don't know, I think like anything else. You know, we've got guys that can cover on the outside, and we've got guys that can push the pocket, and we're going to be outside. You guys obviously have a lot of two really big tackles on the on the offensive line. How valuable is that for your guys? It's um, great to walk, work against that, that length and that strength and every single day because if they plan on going to the next level, that's what's going to be. It's going to be big, longer people that can have strength and punch around. How much have you enjoyed continuing to work with Charles Kelly? Love it. Love every bit of it. We know how each other thinks. We know what we want to do. Uh, there's a plan. We're going to execute the plan. And we're going to we're going to do what he wants. How's the things elaborated working with Coach Nick Williams? Good. It's been fantastic. 
Nick's a great young coach. He knows what the heck he's talking about. He's getting those guys to play hard on the edge. And we've got guys who are playing hard on the edge. Evidence of 31, 15, and all the people that I've coached. It's pretty important. Talked to Coach Prime um, early in August. He said you guys don't have challenges, but you present challenges. What challenges are you presenting to your group? Bottom line is play good football, play relentless, play with great effort, and play with great technique. Good? Yeah. Thanks. 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 Thanks.